Mate, so for me, Mintos, what do you guys do? So uh, we are a marketplace for investing in loans. So that means uh, individual investors can come on Mintos. We can choose different loans and invest their free capital and earn interest on that capital. So you're a fintech yeah. in yeah. Riga. And I remember you telling me earlier, uh, 5 billion euros has gone through the platform, 19 million loans given uh, in five years. Uh, that's quite a feat for any city in any country and any founder. What's given you guys an edge? How have you guys done it? I think it's a bunch of things coming together. So correctly so. So we have had certain traction and today we perhaps hold uh, around half of the market in Europe when it comes to investing in loans. Uh, and then investors are actually these days funding about 300, 350 million every month. So this number is actually increasing with, uh, with every month how much is funded. I think the edge what we have had is like a few things coming together. The first I would say is just product. The product which we have uh, built makes sense both for investors and for the lending companies which we partner with, who then use uh, us to fund the loans they issue. Yeah. Uh, then it's going to come down to the people. I think we have uh, had a, have built a great team here, both in uh, Riga, where the main office is, but also in Berlin and Warsaw and Vilnius, where we have people. Uh, and then the third, I would still not, not uh, uh, underestimate the luck, which have played its role as well. So we were perhaps at the right time and the right place and mm. just uh, taking or uh, kind of uh, making the best of the opportunity which we got. Yeah. Uh, funny question. What's been the biggest learning or the biggest fuck up we've had <laughs> during this journey? I mean, there might have been a few or none. I don't know. But uh... I think there are like a lot and not, a, and not none. It's, uh, it's obviously a lot. I would not pick one yeah. necessarily which stands out. There's, I think, a lot of things which you learn down the way, and yeah. it's very hard to pick one. one. So, uh, uh, what I think is that uh, at the end of the day, the most important is that the majority of the decisions we have made have turned to be right, not wrong. So, obviously, we make a lot of wrong decisions. Right. <laughs> yeah, so well, we obviously do a lot of wrong decisions. Yeah. So, either, I don't know, we try to internationalize way too early uh, or uh, uh, you know, thinking about the structuring of the team maybe too late and so forth. I mean, there are a lot of things, but uh, I would not necessarily pick one. I think okay. there's just no a worries. bunch of things and that's just part of the lives that you can uh, have a, a lot of yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah, fuck them, so exactly. um, Last question uh, around, you know, uh, the, what are you excited about? You know, you set out five years ago in the fintech industry after MBA. Yeah. What, what, what excites you today? Uh, everything, actually, if you ask me. So uh, since the day one, uh, and I've been telling the same to the, our team, I just feel that we are at the very beginning of uh, what we can achieve. And there's uh, we have only scratched the surface and there's so much to do. The opportunity which we have in front of us is humongous. Mm. And we've done only the very, very tiny bit of, uh, of what we uh, could have, uh, or what what, uh, what we have done is tiny bit of the opportunity we have in front of us. So it's, uh, it's very exciting now to actually think about uh, uh, going out and so for instance now we are building out in Indonesia going out there being more present on the ground in, uh, in certain countries is Indonesia specifically yeah, yeah. Indonesia okay. um, likewise we are focusing in Africa as well in Latin America just focusing on those regions is interesting uh, on top of Europe uh, interesting to build the team uh, so we scaled the team from 60 people at the beginning of year to 200 people today so it's called this year this year or so 2019 to 2020 yeah exactly so we more than tripled the team uh, in one year so how, that's how did you do that how did you approach uh, that? I think we had a lot, a good uh, foundation. So uh, we had a good foundation. We had a good uh, kind of management team already in place. So that helped us to, to, to scale. We had a good foundation when, when it comes to hiring and recruiting and what we are thinking in the people. So I think that's helped us to scale and maintain the culture which, uh, which we have uh, today. Uh, so, uh, so I think if anything, I'm very excited to wake up every morning and I think it's uh, the, the most exciting things are ahead. There's been a very exciting journey so far, but the most, uh, a lot of exciting stuff is ahead. Cool. You're doing a great thing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.